Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, I have shown you how to design this login page and how to back end code, how to back end code for this form. Okay, so let me just move to the dashboard. So my username is BTEC days and password is pass. If you have not watched my previous video, then just go to description. There I have put the link for the previous video and click on login. It will take a little bit of time and here we have this dashboard. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to design this dashboard and how to add these buttons and these images as well. So I'm going to show you this. So let's start with this. Let me just close this. And actually, we are working with this one. Library video, here you can see this. So I have already created a form, added a form into this, that is dashboard. Okay, so you can just do like this. Just right click on this, click add and just Windows form. Okay, so when you do that, the new form will be created okay so here you can see this we have this form let me just make it large here you can see this you can see one small stuff is here that let me just show you that here this is what this is a menu strip so we have to add what menu strip so let me add just drag and drop it here you can see this here we have the menu strip and here we have few text here you can see this we have to add this text here as well so let me add text so first is books and within that here is add new book and the second one is view book okay so you can see this when I click on this add new book and view book is here so I have added that in the student we have to add a student and view student information so we have to add that too so here you have to click student and in this you have to write two stuff that is add a student and the second one is view student detail or info okay after that what we have is issue book after that we have return book after that we have complete book details and finally we have exit. exit okay so we have now buttons let me just start this so when I start this it will open a login form and when I enter a valid user ID and password after that it will move to the dashboard so before going further I will change the load form okay so okay so it's late taking a little bit of time so you can see this we have this that is okay so when I click on this it will let me move here you can see this these stuff are here okay so let me just change one small stuff that is what when I click on start I want to directly load this dashboard in place of that login form so just go to this program.cs and just change this form one to dashboard okay so when you execute this now directly dashboard will be open here you can see this no login form is there so when our project is will be completed then we will change this to form one okay so that's not to worry okay so here we have this but here you can see one small stuff is that it's a background image so how to set the background image just click on properties go to image search for image okay so you can see this background image click on this i will provide you each icon and wallpaper i'm using in this just check out my description there i will put the link for all images i'm going to use into this and all icons i'm using okay so not to worry just stay tuned and 
be with us and if you are not subscribed to my youtube channel then please subscribe and hit the bell icon okay so let me add images okay so here i have all image which i am using so this image i am using so click on okay and click on okay here you can see this we have it image here so what i want is not to tie but stretch okay so when i start you observe that the image is set now but i need one small stuff that when it loads it needs to be full screen and it's in the center so how to do that for that you have to just go to properties and you have to change the windows state to normal to change this to maximized and when you start this you will observe that this will open in full screen you can see this now it's nice looking nice okay so after this what we have to do is we have to actually remove this uh, border here you can see this this i don't want this here you can see this this is a complete project here you can see this there is no border frame okay so i'm going to remove that so how to remove that just go to properties and search for uh, frame okay so search for uh, form border style so just change this to none here you can see this we have now none but i'm not going to start this because if i start i can't able to close because i have not coded for this exit as well so let me just change this to for now to fix 3d and finally i last time i'm going to remove this okay so now what i want is i want to set the icon for this so how to do that just click on this and right click and go to properties in properties you have to set the image okay so search for image here you will find this image just click on this local resource it will open your local computer files and after that you have to select the image whatever you want i have used these image in this project i have stored this at a one place so that i can use easily i will provide you each of this i have already told you that so first image what i have used is books is this one so i am going to open it and hit okay here you can see this it's looking quite small so how to make it large just change this image scaling size to fit here you can see this it's size to fit just change this to none here you can see this now it's quite large in the same way you have to do for this add new book click on this add new book just go to properties in properties you have to add image that is select image click on this local resource import and in this we have to find the image that is this one add new book open open and you have to change this image scaling to none so you can see this now it's looking nice in the same way you have to do for the second one that is view book just right click go to properties select the image here you can see this just click on this local resource click on this now after that we have view book so view book images let me just search here you can see this this one okay so it okay after that change this to none okay so now here you can see this it's looking nice in the same way we have to change for this student as well so for a student you have to just go to properties here you can see this it's already open so search for image here you can see this just click on this local resource import and select the student where it is this one okay change this to none add a student click on image local resource import after that you have to search for this one after that you have to click on this view student info just right click go to properties and in this as you will search for image
So you can see this, now it's looking nice. In the same way, we have to change for this issue book. Search image, click on this, local resource, issue book. So we have to use this. Change this image scaling to none. Return book, select this image, local resource. And after that, we have to use this return book logo where it is. Let me just find this one. Okay. Size to fit, none. Okay. So complete book detail. In complete book detail, we have to use the first logo. So let me just show you. So we have to search for image here local resources so this is where we find this complete book open open this changes image scaling to none and after that this finally this we have exit so we have to click on this image local resource click on import and exit logo is where it is let me just search for it here you can see this open click on it change this one okay so here we have done this task let me just show you here you can see this we have all the stuff added here so now we have to do one more stuff that is I want to change the color of this menu strip here you can see this you observe that this color is a little bit different and each second button the color is also different so let me just change the color so let me just copy the color code so here back color is wheat so let me just copy this one and let me just move to here here you have to do that click on this empty space okay here you can see this in this corner and right click and go to properties here you can see this menu strip one make sure you're changing the color for the menu strip one after that you have to just go to back color here it is you have to just write w capital v and hit enter it will change the color here you can see this the color is changed and how to change the color of the second button so you have to just select this cd rl and click on this like this and you have to go to properties and then this you have to change the back color as well okay just right click and go to properties and here let me just copy the color code of this one so this back color is O L D L A C E. Let me just copy this and let me just add this here back color and hit enter. The color will be changed. Here you can see this the color is different from these two. So in the same way, change for the rest of two back color to here you can see this. So that look fancy. After that, change the third one to okay. So here you can see this. Now let me start this. Okay, so here you can see this now it's looking nice. So we left with few stuff that is I have to code for this exit button. When I click on this, the application needs to be closed and I have to remove this frame. So I have already shown you how to remove this frame, but I have shown you, I have not shown you how to code for this exit button. So to generate a click event for this exit button, just double click on this to generate a click event. So I have double click on this. And what I want is when I click on this, I want to close that application. So application dot exit will close the application. But what I want is when user click on this, that it should not directly close the application. It should ask the user that you want to exit or not. So for that you have to code like this if message box dot show it will show a message are you sure you want to exit and the message box name will be confirm okay And after that I want buttons in for this message box so message box button dot I want yes or no and I want few icons that is message box icon dot warning 
because it's a warning and after that I will check that which burden user has entered so when user enter yes when user enter on click when user click on yes I want to exit the application so let me just check dialog result dot yes when this is yes this code needs to be excluded which is within this if condition so just cut this and paste it here let me start this once again you can see this when I click on this are you sure you want to exit if you click on no nothing will happen when you click on yes this will close the application okay so the task is done one more stuff is left what is that I want to just remove this style so just remove this okay so you have to change this uh, form border style to none okay. so just save this and let me just start this and you will find that now the application is open at full screen and you can you can see here there is no border and when I click on this it will ask and when I click yes it will close the application so that's it for the today's video guys uh, stay tuned and just subscribe to my youtube channel in the next video I'm going to show you how to design uh, for this add new button let me just show you that quickly so this is a complete project and let me just start this and let me just type and let me just type the password that is pass and then I click on this it will load in the next video I'm going to show you how to design this and how to back in code for this one okay so just stay tuned and stay focused for previous videos and for next videos just go and check the description thanks for watching